Hey guys, this is my review of the Star Wars Black Series Emperor Palpatine with Throne. And I gotta say, this looks really cool. This is an Amazon exclusive, so it is not numbered. On the back, you can pause and read it if you want. Side. Yeah, so I gotta say, this, uh, this figure has a lot more than the uh, original Palpatine did. It has um, its chair, for one, obviously. But it also has two extra heads and... Uh, his electro like shocky fingers which is really cool so let's get this figure open and see what he looks like so we have Palpatine out of the box here and I gotta say there is a lot of stuff that comes with this figure I will go over all of the accessories later in the video but uh, right away I would just kind of like to uh, go over Palpatine himself and the throne so uh, as you can see the throne is very big it is a lot bigger than I uh, initially thought it would be and, um, yeah, uh, Palpatine kind of has to slouch back in the chair to actually fit in without hitting his head on the thing. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool. I do really like, uh, this idea of this. I really would, uh, like to just keep this out of the box and just chill in the corner of my set here. And, um, it's definitely a good figure to do that with. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, get a really good, uh, look at his chair. So uh, here's a close look at the chair, and I do have to say I really love what they did with the chair. They made the uh, purple um, plastic a very soft plastic, and they put a little bit of space in between the purple and the black, so you can press on it, and it actually feels like it is a cushion. And um, it's very cool that they did this. They definitely didn't have to do this. And um, it's a really cool feature that is definitely probably uh, harder than it needs to be and I'm glad they made it there as you can see there is a nice little um, <laughs> butt imprint from Palpatine there and um, that is also a lot of detail that they didn't have to add in and I'm glad they did so as you can see there is a little bit of color on the side there and on this button on here there's not a whole lot to do with the back just just a, a groove in the top there and um yeah there's this weird little thing that sticks out there there's not a whole lot to do with that but yeah so uh, this thing does uh twist it's not very easy and it just comes right off so it doesn't really twist it just um sits on this and can move but uh, I do really like the chair, I gotta say. Um, it's gonna look really cool with Palpatine sitting in it. And speaking of Palpatine, let's get a close look at Palpatine. So, uh, here is Palpatine by himself. And I do have to say, one thing I don't like about this figure is they reuse the same legs from the old Palpatine. And um, I don't know if it's the orange line or the blue line. But uh, this basically means that the pegs on the bottom of his feet, they don't work with the new Black Series stands. And I don't like that because I only have the new Black Series stands. I don't have any of the old ones, so this doesn't work very well. Uh, but they did do a new face print for him, which looks very, very nice. It looks a lot like Palpatine. Here, let's get that to focus. There we go, that is a little bit better, and um, I do have to say with the head mold and all, it looks really good, the mold does, but I think the paint doesn't look uh, gray enough as uh, Palpatine does in Return of the Jedi. I don't know, he just looks very gray, while as in this, he um, he's kind of a tan color with like blue paint, that's what it looks like. And I think they were going for uh, the blue to be kind of gray. But the blue kind of just comes off as blue. But uh, one weird thing about this is he has hair. I never thought that Return of the Jedi Palpatine would have hair. Maybe we just didn't see it under the hood. But yeah, he has hair. Uh, I do really like how the hood sits on his head. It looks very Sith-like and it works very well. So Let's get a good look at all of the accessories that this figure comes with. Before we look at the accessories, I would just like to note that one bad thing about this this uh, figure is the soft goods is um they're kind of fraying at the bottom here, not at the robe because the robe is sewn at the bottom, but here it's not and it's starting to tear up the front of the robe. 
and um, yeah, that's just one bad thing about the soft goods, and you're just gonna get that with any soft goods uh, figure if, yeah, but that is just one bad thing about the um, the figure out of many good things, so let's look at the accessories. So this figure comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with two extra heads with different facial expressions his cane, which I don't think you ever really see in the movie a whole lot, and two electro um, shocky hands. And uh, I do like how they um, made these hands, but I don't like how the fingers look um, kind of faded into the lightning. It looks like his fingers are just like really long and weird. I wish they had like a um, certain like break off point where it was smooth and not fading. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. I know I've seen a lot of people say they like that. It makes it look um, cool, but I don't. I think they need to have a break-off point where you can actually see his fingers. But um, yeah, let's get a close look at the different heads on Palpatine. So this is the first extra head that comes with Palpatine. And it is a smiling head. And um, it looks alright. It doesn't look bad. I prefer the default head that comes in the box already on Palpatine. But the smiling one isn't bad. The only thing is uh, his skin tone doesn't match his neck, and it looks very funny. And um, other than that, it's a pretty cool head. So let's get a look at the other one. So this is the uh, second extra head that comes in the box. And I do have to say, this is the one I like the least bit. I think it has the most details, but I just don't like it personally. Uh, I don't. He, he has the creepy Palpatine. Um, angry face that you kind of see whenever he's shocking Luke and um, the one thing I really don't like about this figure is it looks like his um, right or no left eye is uh, looking off and um, is looking off to the left and um, it looks really weird and I don't like it but I don't like how it's not straight it makes him look cross-eyed and weird but yeah let's get another look at the default head So this is the default head that comes in the box and I do have to say this one is my uh, favorite one but uh, this does probably suffer the most from the blue and uh, like the blue on the face I think they're going for a gray look with it but I don't like it it looks like he has um, a tan face with like blue on it and it looks really weird as you can see uh, there's more on the forehead and you know, I don't. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's a little weird. But uh, overall, I think this is definitely one of the best face prints and uh, paint jobs that I've ever seen in a Black Series figure. It looks very accurate and uh, very cool. I really like um, how they did this. And um, let's get uh, Palpatine with his shocky hands on. I do have to say, I really like the um, electric hands that Palpatine has. It is uh, very, uh, very cool that didn't have in the original Palpatine, and um, I think it is definitely necessary. I do think if you have either Return of the Jedi, Jedi Luke, or uh, Vader's or Emperor's Wrath Vader, uh, you can definitely put them both up with Palpatine here, and it would look very cool. And uh, yeah, I think. This uh, wasn't necessary because they didn't include it in the old one, but I'm very happy they did it include it in this one because it looks really good. So let's get a um a good look of Palpatine with his cane. So we have Palpatine with his cane, and I do have to say I think the cane is a little short. The only way for it to actually touch the ground is if you have him slouching over like this, and it just looks very dramatic. I don't think you really ever see Palpatine slouching over this much I could be wrong but if you uh, stand him up straight and then put his arm straight down his uh, cane still doesn't hit touch the ground and um, I'm pretty sure you can put it straight in his hand too Here. and uh, as you can see even with uh, Palpatine uh, his cane straight down it just doesn't touch the ground unless you have him slouching over and um, I guess it's alright if you really want him to pose standing up but I feel like the cane isn't really necessary because you never really see it in the movie that I recall. And it's not really necessary. But let's get my final thoughts on the figure. So overall, I really do like this figure. Um, I'm not a big fan of the fraying on the bottom of his uh, robes. 
but that is pretty much how it goes if you have soft good figures and I really do like the soft goods because that allows him to sit down and um, I think it was definitely necessary for this figure and um, I think that's alright with the fraying because you get him to be able to sit down in these uh, really good positions so I'm alright with that uh, I also really do like the chair I feel like um, this uh, this uh, D3 and it's not D3 it uh, it's a Amazon exclusive I'm sorry uh, this exclusive uh, has a lot of accessories including the chair I guess I count the chair as an accessory that um, aren't really necessary like they didn't have to include the cane and they really didn't have to include the uh, shocky things the shocky hands but they did and I'm happy that they did uh, for forty dollars I think it is um, a fair price and I feel like if you're gonna buy this you're mainly buying it for the chair but like and Palpatine too you're not really buying it for the extra accessories and um, I feel like if you have them sitting down in the chair you're not gonna be using the um, electro hands or the other heads or the cane even so I feel like they weren't really necessary but I'm glad they did include them in case if you don't want to use uh, those on the figure or not so overall I think I'm gonna give this entire uh, figure a four and a half out of five I think the biggest problem is with the fraying at the bottom of the at the bottom of the uh, his robes they could have just added a seam at the very bottom and folded it in and then it wouldn't fray at all but they didn't and uh, I wish they really did because that would make this a perfect figure and I really liked it so overall uh, it's a great figure uh, I suggest this to any Revenge of the Sith fans uh, episode uh, 6 fans or Rise of Skywalker fans even and um, just any Emperor Palpatine fans or fans looking for a good quality figure